Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about the Zenith X2E Plus and the Zenith Shadow XR and compare all the differences and make sure if you have find this content helpful to like and subscribe to the channel. First one we're going to talk about is the Zenith X2E Plus and we'll show you kind of the differences and how they all work. Um, they both have the adaptive chin strap. When you buckle these up tighter, go ahead, Trey, put this on. When you buckle this up and you pull it down together, it, it adapts to your head and kind of uh, makes it, uh, you know, more comfortable and around tighter. and tighter around your head. And that's what this one looks like. This is the X2E Plus. Okay, it has the single stage. Why don't you pop it off tray, pull it off, and we'll kind of show the inside of how it how so, it yeah. looks. <clears throat> so this one has the single stage shock absorbers yeah, right here. And that's throughout the entire helmet. And then it also has these soft pads around the edge. You could also get if you needed to uh, some snug some snug pads, take you can off, take those take off and put snug pads if you need to adjust yeah. the fit. It makes it so comfortable and all but that, that that's what this one looks like. <clears throat> then we have the shadow the X, shadow XR the shadow XR, and why don't you put that one on for it's everyone? Indeed. <laughs> so Trey here has worn both of these helmets. He wore this one last year and he's worn this one this year. And so we wanted to do a video after he's worn them both for a for both for each for a full season. And that's what that one looks like. Turn your head Trey. Look that way. Yep, and then maybe look the other way. Okay. And then on the back. And then on the back, there you go. And the front has the two holes and it's very- We opted to get the titanium face mask on this helmet. Um, it's about a half a pound lighter on the face mask. So we wanted to do that. So it was a, a bit lighter. Get it closer to that helmet. This one, this X2E Plus is slightly lighter, um, but with the- uh, Titanium face mask, it, it mask, it's a little closer. And Trey, which one did you feel like was lighter when you played with them? Maybe. Did they feel the same? Did they? Maybe a little this one. The X2E Plus was slightly lighter? Well, or did you feel like it was do. the same? Okay, pull that I off, feel Trey. Like it's probably about the same. About the same, yeah. yeah. So there you go, pull that off. We'll get, we'll, we'll talk to Trey and his opinion about both of the helmets at the end, but I wanted to show you the inside of this helmet. Um, the chin strap on this one is slightly different. Um, this one's a hybrid chin strap. It's got a hard on the outside and then this fabric uh, on the inside. And then this one does not, it's hard on the outside, but it, it doesn't have that fabric on the inside. And which chin strap did you like better, Trey? This one is way better. The the X the the Shadow XR. Yeah, the Shadow XR one. The right? Shadow XR. It also has a blue thing, so it doesn't stink. So it doesn't yeah. stink. Yeah. Oh yeah, this that's one, one is... thing. This one because it's fabric, it started it starts to stink after like, a it while. It stinks so bad. It like gets sweaty, and then Stinky. after like a year or longer, I felt like last year it didn't stink, but this year, um, it definitely it definitely stunk. This one doesn't it's have any fabric, stink. and so you can, it doesn't hold odor. And so we mm -hmm. thought it was a better chin strap. So the inside of it, that's what this one looks like on the inside. It has this on the back that is supposed to kind of conform to the back of your head when you, when you pull it tighter. And then these shock absorbers, I feel like are definitely better than the shock absorbers in this helmet. Me too. Um, they just seem like they're much 
uh, more, they're called rayon shock absorbers. And I feel like they're, they're much, much better. This is kind of what it, you can kind of see when you push it down. They're I don't know very how far better. you, they're much, much better. You think? Yeah. yeah they're like a purple mattress, but it's like protected. <laughs> purple mattress. <laughs> And so it's pretty, uh, uh, Trey really liked this helmet uh, this year. He, he's taken some good hits and had had no issues um, with this helmet. You wanna try it on, Trey, one more time? And yes, indeed. Pull it on and this one, these both are size medium. Compare. <clears throat> the Shadow XR, um, it, the Shadow XR I feel like is, slightly like wider you know a little bit wider but not as tall as this one really aerodynamic um the x2e plus i feel like is a little bit taller but maybe not as wide this way um but all in all they're really close to the same um so that's how this one looks. We ended up having to get bigger um, of the jaw pads um, than what it came with because it didn't, the, the ones that what it came with didn't fit them. I think they come with half inch and we ended up getting three quarters of an inch because it, it fit him better. And go ahead and move your head up and down, side to side. So this has been a good helmet. Um, we've liked it. It's kind of pricey. This one's a little over 200 bucks, and this one was a little over $400, and that was two, a little over $200. Um, when it compares to the Virginia Tech ratings, the X, the, sorry, the, the Shadow XR gets better ratings it's than this one. The they're, both, they're both top five helmets. That one's ranked number five. At, on the Virginia Tech ratings, the X2E Plus, and this one is ranked number two. Um, <clears throat> just so just the Vices Zero Two is ranked number one, and the Zenith Shadow XR is ranked number two. We actually bought the um, the Vices Zero Two. Yeah, and it looked like big. It definitely looked bigger on his head um, than either of these helmets. And we just didn't feel like it fit as good, mostly because we wanted to get a medium. The small probably would have fit him better, but then I think he was only gonna get one year out of it. This medium size helmet, I think we can get several years out of it um, with, with, with his um, head size. I think the next couple years we'll still be able to use it. That, that, v, that Vices, if we got the small, I think we'd only get one year out of it because he was on the kind of higher end of the, the the chart, on the bigger end of the chart for that size helmet. This um, medium Zenith Shadow XR, he was right in the middle of the size chart. And so I'm thinking he should be able to get a couple years out of we it. We can adjust so, it too. And it can be adjusted a little bit. So Trey, let's talk about your experience between these two helmets. You wore both of them. Should I just take this one off? You actually, yeah, you can take it off. You, um, last year you used the X2E Plus the entire year. And then you only wore the X2E one Plus for like, two games. you wore it for the like, first scrimmage. You wore it for a few practices. First scrimmage and then like game scrimmage. And then one game, yeah. Because it took a little bit for us to, to get this helmet, it took, a few months to get this helmet and then i didn't the padding i think we needed to get the uh, jaw pads a little bit bigger and then um then that helmet fit but it took a little bit to get that part you can see how the x2e plus is slightly taller than the shadow xr but it's tiny bit wider the shadow xr is tiny bit wider okay trey let's talk about your experience Tell us, tell us which one you felt was more comfortable. I'd say the Zenith Shadow XR. You it felt like that was more comfortable? Yeah. Okay.
Um, which one did you feel um, was lighter? Or did you feel like they were the same? They were pretty close. Okay. So weight-wise, you thought they were pretty close. Um, Comfort-wise, you thought the Shadow XR. Chin strap, you thought the Shadow XR. Um, what about protection-wise? The Shadow XR, do you feel like it, it protected you a little bit better? Yep. Like, like in terms of when you got hit, like way better. You, thought, you feel like it was way better? Well, yeah. Yeah. Both of them are good helmets, but we definitely feel like the Shadow XR is, is definitely a better helmet. Um, what about looks wise? Which one do you think you like better looks wise? You, you like the Sh Xena Shadow XR? Okay. All right. Well, any final thoughts, Trey, you want to say to everyone about which helmet and the differences? Do we, do we miss anything? Yeah, it's because this one's more aerodynamic because we can flow over and shorter. You feel like it's more aerodynamic? Okay. 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 This one's not yeah. aerodynamic. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely think, uh, in terms of like which one is more substantial and and better made. I definitely feel like the they're both good. Um but but if you want to pay more, I feel like you get more protection out of the Zenith X the Shadow XR. Um this one is an advanced polymer um shell. This one's an ABS shell. That probably adds to the the weight. This one is is the it's the same outer shell as what's in the varsity uh helmet this one is an abs plastic shell um most um <clears throat> most of the varsity helmets are not gonna in fact none of the varsity helmets are gonna be abs they're all gonna be um and like similar to like this advanced uh polymer that comes with the varsity and the the youth size helmet. So um, all in all, we were happy with, with the purchase. We really hope we can get a couple years. He's Trey's 10 right now. Hopefully we can get this till high, he, till high school, maybe get it through um, age 13. And when he turns 14, he'll go into high school and um, he'll need to get a, a varsity rated helmet anyway at that point. But well, that's all we have. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for viewing and us. Comment down below. And comment down below on your thoughts uh, of of the helmet if you've used it or uh, used either of these. Really we hope this uh, video was was helpful for you. I think it's helpful to get experience um, from someone that's used both um, and can tell the differences uh, between us. But all in all, we're very happy with this uh, Zena Shadow XR. Uh, that we bought this one and um, it's been a it's been a great helmet and we're we're happy we bought it so all right thanks everyone